App Setup Download the app WNVR Pro from either the App Store or Google Play Store to your smartphone or tablet. Launch the app. Allow notifications. Click the plus sign to add a device. There are two ways to add the device. You can click LAN Scan. The app will automatically search for devices connected to the same network. You can also click Add Device UID. Click on the icon on the right side to scan the barcode on the back of your NVR monitor to quickly add the device. You can rename under Device Name, but please do not change username. Then enter password, the same one that you used when you initialized your NVR monitor. The example I used was 1234, so here, I will enter the same password in the app. Make sure to tap complete on the upper right hand corner to finish setting up. Once you have set up the app, you can view everything on the main page. Network status is shown on the top left corner. If network connection is not optimal, you can hold and drag down the screen. Release to refresh the page. Click anywhere on the image to enter live view. There are two ways to switch from quad view to single channel view. You can either tap the quad view icon at the bottom and select one to switch, or you can simply double tap on the channel you want to view to bring up single channel view. Once you're in single channel view, you can switch between the channels by simply swiping on the screen. Double tap to exit single channel view. Now I will go over four functions, intercom, screenshot, recording, and playback. All of these functions work on quad view as well as single channel view. I will use single channel view as an example. Intercom. To use the intercom function, press microphone icon to initiate intercom function. Hold and talk to the camera. To exit the intercom function, press hang up at the bottom of the screen. The bottom menu bar has three different icons. The first icon in the bottom menu bar is for screenshots. Screenshot function allows you to screenshot a selected channel. The recording function allows you to record live from a single camera. There is a flashing red dot on the top right corner to indicate recording status. Click again to end recording, and the file will be automatically saved. The playback function allows you to access recorded files. There is a timeline at the bottom of the screen, and there are two ways to zoom in and out of a timeline. You can either use two finger pinch or click into the magnifying glass icon on the right and use the scroll bar to zoom in and out. Yellow indicates that there are available recordings. You can find a recording by scrolling on the timeline. If there is a specific date you want to review, you can also tap on the calendar icon, go to that specific day, and click confirm. As an example, I'm going to use May 13th. And I would like to see what happened at around 10 a.m. that day. Find 10 a.m. and click play. And here is the recorded file from 10 a.m. on May 13th. At the top right corner, you can change display ratio. You can also switch between standard definition and high definition. You can choose to turn volume on and off. And you can switch to horizontal view here. Once again, once you're in horizontal view, you can enter single channel view and you can swipe to change a channel. Once you're done, double tap to exit single channel view and click the same icon to flip back to vertical view. Click on the menu icon, the one with three horizontal lines to access backup. This will allow you to download recorded files directly onto your phone or tablet. Select a channel. I want to get recorded files from channel one. You can input starting time and end time to narrow the search. I want to get files from June 10th. Click search on the top right corner. Select files you want to download. Click the download icon at the bottom of the screen. 
tap complete to finish the process. Now, you can access downloaded files in two different ways. First, you can go back to Live View screen, click into Backup again, and the recorded files will be shown on the page. If you want to download additional files, click Add Video Backup at the bottom of the screen. The second way to access downloaded files is through the main page. Going back to the main page, let me show you what you can do with the ellipsis icon, which is the one with three horizontal dots. Click on screenshot slash recording to access video recordings and screenshots. Click on edit to change information about the device. You can change the device name here. Here, I'm going to change it to my camera. If you change password on the monitor, you can update password on your app here. You can click delete to remove this device from the app. You can click on the settings gear to go into settings. Tap setting. You can choose to turn on and off the 2G, 3G, 4G network reminder. You can view the mobile data traffic statistics or empty data here. And you can also choose to select preview mode. Tap screenshot slash recording to enter the file list. Tap help to review the preview of your device and to review the troubleshooting section. Version will show you the current app version. And here we can see that this is the most updated version.